today? Hey, how are you? I'm pretty good. Good, good, good. Yeah. What are you here to see today? Oh, I'm going to see Kristen. She's we're talking about buying a car. So she'll get you out quick, too. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. She'll pick you up. What kind of car are you looking for? Um, I'm actually interested in looking at the black Porsche that they have out there. Oh, the black Porsche. Mm -hmm. I've had my eye on that one for a while, so I'm pretty excited to sit in that and take it for a ride. Yeah. Yeah. yeah great, great. Absolutely. Great. What about you? Oh, they got a pickup out here, a little white pickup I'm thinking about. Yeah. Okay, sounds yeah. good. Yeah. You know, the stuff that makes me happy as far as our business goes is definitely the customers and the relationships that we've established. Um, we like cars. Our customers like cars. It allows us to carry a bunch of different cars, makes, models, uh, anywhere from current to late model stuff, and then collectible stuff. So I guess if you were going to sum it up, it'd be based on enthusiasm in the car business and in the car world. Uh, my family back in the early 1900s actually built a manufactured car. It was called the Staver Carriage Company. And uh, those were relatives of my grandfather. And so it was, uh, and we have some memorabilia here. I have a, have a story that was done in a magazine on our, uh, the Staver Carriage Company. And so it was, it was funny to find out it was actually in my blood to begin with, which I did not know until we were into the business. My grandfather was born and raised uh, in Oregon and was successful and before he passed away he gave my sister and I some money. Um, I wasn't sure what to do with it and asked him how I could thank him and he just said I should live up to it. And um, so I took all that money that he gave me and I invested it all in this business back in 2008, which in hindsight I'd never been in the car business, I didn't know anything about the car business. <laughs> Most people thought I was crazy. and. Um, but you know, we've been through a lot, we've gotten through a lot, and um, I feel like at this point we're a legitimate business, and I'm most of that to him. He, he worked hard and gave, my, gave me a shot at, at doing something with my life that I wouldn't have if I wouldn't have been here, and so I'd like to have him think that we've lived up to it. West Coast Auto Enthusiast uh, affects the community, I think, by our involvement both with our customers and, uh, and local businesses. So we have built a business uh, and wanted to have a business that would rely on other local businesses for support and then also contribute as far as customers and relationships within the community. And uh, it's turned out to be one of the best things I like about our business. You know, what makes worth coming to work on a daily basis is going to sound like a funny answer, but the truth is, is that when you, when you find someone and you put together a deal and they have a problem with the car and then we're willing to fix it or participate in the solution, the surprise and the appreciation on their, on their, in their reaction has really been rewarding and it's not something we have to work at doing, we think it's the right thing to do, but those are the kind of deals and those are the kind of relationships that um, feel good and you know, bring meaning to the fact that we're in an industry that that doesn't happen a lot and that maybe we're different and that you can trust somebody in the car business and, um, and I like that.